and we're moving, 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 and here it is. Oops, inside of the chat, inside of the chat OBJ object literal, here is the actual function. Now I check to see if any requests have already been sent to the server. In this case, they haven't. We just finished that above here, and then I say, okay, lock it. Don't send any more requests until I'm done with this one. I start the AJAX, the post, the URL, the JSON type format, and here are the variables. In this case, the first variable is, I'm saying, update. That is the action I wanted to perform. And then after the comma, I say, this is the line. Again, state represents line. Uh, this is the line that this user was on, the most recent comment that they have, uh, that they should be shown. Okay? And then... I need to jump to the PHP portion of this. Remember, the action that I need to perform this time is update. Okay, so now we're inside the same function as we were before. We uh, take the action, we know the path to the file, we jump to the update portion of the switch statement, which is we read the file, we count the line, or we take the most, we count the number of lines in the whole uh, TXT file that we have, which is all the messages. I sanitized the line number. I should have named this a little bit more better, but state represents the most recent comment that they should be shown. And I save it, I sanitize it using CodeIgniter's uh, feature, and I save it in this variable state. Now, if the most recent comment that is to be shown to this user is the one, meaning that this person has already seen this comment, and th there are no more new comments, so the length of the file is equal to the actual state, the most recent comment this person has seen, then don't send them anything, just send back a boolean false, meaning that no new comments have been entered. However, if new comments have been entered, what we do is we start a for loop and we say the starting point should be the state that this person has entered, the chat room. So this is the most recent comment that they should be shown from this point onward file length again is uh, the length of the file and inside of this for loop what we're doing is we're saying file txt which is the actual all the contents of the file and we're looping through each particular line each one of them and using string replace I'm taking out the backslash n because we're going to be putting the break tag in HTML uh, once we get to the client side and I'm saving it into this array once this whole all the lines that we need are fed into this array what I do is in the send back I add this value all the lines to the txt txt variable and the state is updated because now all these lines all these messages have been added here this guy is going to see them so I need to send the pointer again to the very bottom of the file and say the next message that shows up is the one that should be shown to him and not the old messages once this is done we're going to break out of the switch statement, see? And then we're going to JSON encode our values and send them back to the JS. So we jump back here in the update chat and the success message, the data.txt, meaning that if you remember earlier, if no new messages are to be shown to this guy, we get false. So in this case, new messages are to be shown. We start the for loop, as you can see and we say data.text.length meaning all the lines that we need to show this guy we say data.text i is going to go through each particular line put it inside of a paragraph element append it to this particular element on our page and chat center as you remember is the main area where we show our messages so simple enough so far right after the for loop ends we go to the chat obj and the state line is again we want to make sure that the line that this guy next comment that this guy is, is the this guy sees is the most recent one that's why we're saying update the client side variables as well and that's what state is doing uh, next after this is done we just kinda go to the chat center as you remember this is where the messages are being shown and we scroll to the very top of it so let me just show you what that means as soon as you're entering more messages, you'll notice that it's scrolling down to show you those things. That's what this particular line is doing. Okay? 
and then after we're done with this we're saying okay now you can send more requests to the server and we unlock it by saying false in the beginning we locked it we checked if it was locked since it wasn't we entered we started processing and locked it now we're releasing that lock so more requests can be sent to the server we're done with this and last part is the send chat portion that's what we're doing here so now let's see what that uh, that's about so first we enter the chat room and we said what is the most recent message and we got that status after that we said okay now start updating the chat every second go to the server see if there's new messages if there are update the chat area if there are don't do anything now what we're gonna do is move to this portion and that is this excuse me the send text area which is this part right here as soon as somebody types in anything which is A, B, C, D, or hits any key, the key data event is fired. And what we do is we check the key code. If it is 13, meaning if it is the enter key, what we do next is we check to see uh, jQuery trim actually takes out any white space characters. And we see if you actually entered something or if it was just a blank area and you just hit the enter key. So if you didn't enter any text in here and you just keep hitting the enter key, we're not going to update this area. It doesn't make any sense. So that's what this extra check is for so if you have entered something and you hit the enter key the send text function is called and the send text function basically does is it goes to the chat obj and it says call the send chat uh, function or method so we're going to jump down here we'll go to the send chat and what this does is you can just kind of ignore this line for now we call the ajax we post their and this time the action we're going to take is, I should have named this better, but the action we're going to take this time is send. And the message that you typed in, the user, remember send text chat is this area. So we take this message and we send it to the server. Again, we need to go back to the server and here's a switch statement again, the same function, method or whatever. Send is called. We take the message you sent, we sanitize it, making sure it's not malicious content. And then what we do is we call the fwrite function that PHP offers. In this case, I opened up the file. And then we're saying the username in here can be replaced with anything. I've just given hardcore text. You can use your own sessions to update the actual user's name. And then here's the message that this guy sent. And we write it into the file. So the next time you call the update, you can actually get the message that people will see the message that you typed. So now, in this case, we come back, and you'll notice that we don't check the value that is sent back to us. Rather, what we do is we call chat obj update chat because you haven't seen your own message yet. You sent it to the server, but you haven't seen it in your display area. So that's what the send chat does. Now we're going to move back to the beginning. Uh, you remember, as you remember, you hit the enter key. The send text chat is here. So now you sent the chat up to the area and then you've also called the update chat so you can see your own messages the next thing we're going to do is we'll go back to the send text chat area and we remove the message that you typed because this is still there so as soon as I type this and I hit enter it's sent to the server updates the txt file and then after it updates it we send another request saying hey update the chat area which is this area right here so you can see your own message and other people can see it but then the last thing it does is it comes back here and removes this so what you have is a clean area you can type a new message see so that's what's happening and that's what this send text chat function is doing after this is called event print default is something you can look up it's not that important right now uh, the last thing I need to show you is the send button uh, this needs to be handled differently in the sense that if we go here to the HTML, you'll notice that this is a form that is being submitted. And this is a submit button. Send it. As soon as you hit this button, uh, the form is submitted. And we'll go back up here. So we say send it, which is the submit button. Right, sorry about that. Uh, here's a form send it is the ID for it so we say send it dot submit 
that occurs call this function as you did before do the whole thing clean the slate and um, after that don't submit the form that's why you write return false uh, that's about it and that's how long polling works again I'm gonna say it uh, long polling is not something you want to implement nowadays this is just for the sake of knowledge and um, now that you look at other articles that are about socket level connection hopefully I'm gonna write that right after this one and uh, I'll upload the video again so you can create it in that as well but now you know how these two things work uh, if you have any questions or anything like that please let me know in the comments below and have fun